you guys are not gonna believe what's going on, right? I got this low and everything is good. I took a picture, sent it to the broker, BO at everything, send it to the broker, right? So from the pickup to the drop off, I have to come through Raleigh. So taking the truck to my house, park the truck to my house, and then leave Sunday to drop off this load on Monday, right? So I was like 14 minutes away from my house. This broker called me and said, the shipper said they have the wrong load on the truck. They have the wrong load on the truck, guys. Uh, they, all the paperwork that on the load, the order number, everything is right. But the how you call the the law itself is the wrong law they just put the wrong paperwork on it so that's not my fault now the broker want me to take that law bike so they can put the right one and it's almost five o'clock and can you imagine it's like two hours away almost two hours away right that person might have to work overtime wait for me he had me park on the side Open the door, even though it have a security seal. Just a security seal. He said, cut the seal. You know, we just want to make sure. So I cut the seal, took it off, and go in there, take a picture, separate it, just so he'd be able to match that. You know? That's the law right there. And when you take a look, I had to, you see that, that, that paperwork is usually on the law, right? I have to rip it off, take it from the from, from there. So I take a picture and I send it to him. He said, yes, it's the right, you guys can see. I ripped the paper and everything. Everything's on this package. It's the same, same information on this BOL. Address, order number, everything's the same. But they said it's the wrong law, whatever. They were even thinking about me taking this to Georgia because it's going to Georgia. But the problem is that it's not every single law on it. It's just like, I guess, one pallet or something. So they said, yeah, need to head bike with pay rate per mile for extra miles. So I already screenshot my location. I'm 115 miles away from that location and I sent it over to him. So I'm going 115 miles to pick up that law and 115 miles to come back here, that's 230 miles is gonna pay for that, extra. Let's make the money, guys. That's your boy from Africa. I am going to make the money. I just stopped to, to take a picture and everything and I want to explain to you guys what is going on. A situation like that, it's, it's not your fault. So you shouldn't freak out about anything at all. So I'm going back to see what is going on there. But you know what, let me, let me call him a little quick and put him on speaker. Make sure that he, okay, he just texts me. All right. Uh, what? Never mind, dude, come on. Never mind, keep hailing that way. You are good to go. Jesus Christ, you guys see that? What's wrong with this broker, man? I mean, he's a good dude, but I, I gotta confirm that over the phone because that could be something, whatever. And you know what? Let me see what I can do. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Mr. James. I, I saw the text, but I just wanted to confirm that, you know, you... Yeah, you're, you're good to go. You're good to go. I literally was on the other line with my customer while you were keeping it there. You are good to go. So no need to go back on, on the pickup site? No need for you to go back. You got lucky. I got lucky for sure, yeah, because I was 115 miles away from there. That's why. Okay, thank yeah. you so much, then. I didn't want to pay for you to go back. You know, you did good work. I was going to pay you, so, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to, you know. Uh, okay. I, I, okay, okay. I mean, if you say I should go, I'm good to go, that's good. That's what no, I wanted to. Thank yeah, you. You're good for all, man. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate you. Bye-bye. Mm, Oh my God, <laughs> I, even though he's going to pay me, but it was going to be, um, 
that's like doing the same thing over and over, whatever. I don't like that. So now I have to change the address. Go not nah, change the address. I'm actually going back home. I just gonna go bike. Like I said, from here to my house is what? Uh, it's like how many minutes? I'm 14 minutes away. You know? Yep. I am lucky, guys. So I guess I need to get out of here and uh, go home. So that's what's going on. Sometimes you run into a situation like this. Thank God that I stopped here because, you know, I didn't want it to say, so, okay, just turn around and keep going bike until he got to me. It was going to be a, a disaster. Like, I'm going to burn that gas. He said he didn't want it to, to pay me. It seems like it's the same type of product is shipped for everyone, every customer, right? So it don't matter, you know, which customers receive which package, so long as the same product, right? You know, you know what? I got lucky once again. I'm good to go, so I'm heading home, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Like I said, try to stay profitable, okay? Do not go out there taking those random loads. Cause this guy paid me two dollars and change per mile. Let's stick to two dollars per mile, right? All right. So if he was going to pay me. 230 mile that's a lot of money right he, he wasn't going to benefit it might be the shipper might reimburse him because the shipper is the one who did a mistake right so two dollar time 230 that's 460 dollars i was going to make which i don't really mind that 460 i mean i'm gonna come home late and go to sleep making a full extra 460 but they 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 took care of it so i'm gonna i'm getting out of here guys I will see you guys in the next video, man. Peace and love. That's your boy from Africa.